Hello again, Pithy Internet. Welcome back to more Change Special. We found Kuro's uh, little home, and we're gonna explore the ventilation ducts. Thank God. I just wanted to see if he would say something. Oh, he makes a face. Yeah. Does he? Wait, hold on. I need... <laughs> <laughs> he poofs. It's filled with everyday things. Alright. Naughty neighbors. What if a war wind blows on your body? A picture of the tall latex beast. Oh, it just looks like a tail. It certainly does. Hmm. Ah, yes, okay, got it. Ah, uh, hello. Are you trying to fill that gap with this box? So smart. But human, why don't you ask me for help? kind of thing. Just leave it to me. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> you see that? Human, please don't grab my tail. Itchy. Grab the tail. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Alright, good. Bye now. Okay. Thank you. I can't move in. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, bro. <laughs> That's... Aww. Feel. <laughs> I'm sorry, these are like, actually like really cute. <laughs> him taking pictures of himself. Whoops. I might have, uh... Might have fucked myself. You broke it. You dumb broke it. If I reset, does that also reset? I don't know. No. Okay. It resets the music. It sure does. The music is, uh, not playing anymore. Oh, well. Blah, blah, blah. 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 I'm confused. Yeah, you okay. did it. Goodness gracious. Goodness gravy. Great googly moogly. I was gonna suggest saving, but... I'm still worried. Let me just follow you. In this institute, there are many latex pieces that like surprises. You'll be safer if I'm by your side. Pearl will protect you. It's really so narrow in here. Am, am I getting in your way? Human, beware of the electrical shock. It's so narrow here. If you accidentally touch that bare wire, it's very bad. By the way, this institute has <laughs> been so run down, nothing like the institute described in the book. The ground is covered with rubbish. There are messes and broken instruments everywhere. Doors that can't be opened. I don't feel like this can be a place for scientific research. It's a miracle that most of the equipment here can still keep running. Dragon King said that long, a long, long time ago there was a riot between humans in this institute. What really happened in this institute before I was born? Grim Reaper's fireworks. Alright. Human, where of that ventilation duct? Meaning latex bees like to move quickly by ventilation ducts. When passing by the, a ventilation duct, it is better to pay good attention to it. Friend of measures, human. Human, beware of that picture. He seems like there is nothing to be aware of. I saw that the latex beast fox had a funny sleeping face, so I drew it. Oh, I know. Be careful of spelling <laughs> mistakes. Okay. Uh. Way ahead is even more narrow. Look. Can't even turn around, let alone push boxes around. Those pranks or lepers must have, must have brought the these boxes. I don't want to get my tail stuck between the boxes. I don't want to trip... Oh, I don't want human to trip over my tail. But it doesn't seem like there is anything dangerous here. Space is so narrow, I will only get in the way if I stay here. Human, ahead there is a map I drew with the location of the secret path you can take to get out of here. If you get to the end of the room, you can see it. You must take a good look at that map. And then, to not hinder you, I will go back, human. I believe you can do it. 
I will wait for you in my den. Okay, thank you. Should be no problem, human. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Search through it. You're about to open this box and check it carefully, but before you can reach for it, the box opens automatically in front of you. A stream of group comes out of the box. It condenses within a few seconds. It turns to a feline animal with a fluorescent green pattern. Ooh. Mm. The deep, dark latex beast grabs your head and stares at you smugly. You open your mouth, but you can't make any cry for help. You can't look away. The fluorescent patterns and pupils of the feline beasts gradually blur in your eyes. You watch it in trance and stop resisting. You daydream looking in the eyes of the latex beast cat. You don't even realize that the goo has extended from the latex beast cat and quickly spread evenly on your body. The goo of the latex beast covers your mouth and nose, but you still keep staring. The fluorescent colors are reflected in your pupils and begin to infect your mind. You breathe heavily. Your legs tremble. But you gladly accept the transformation of your body brought by the latex beast feeling before you, and the green glow shines even more. There is nothing left in your mind except acceptance. A faint green pattern begins to appear in your new goo body, and you start to look more and more like the feline like the latex beast. Your new body and the faint light of the pattern on your body are reflected in its eyes, and in yours there is only the feline latex beast satisfied smirk. The feline latex beast holds your hand tightly. The goo has completely covered your body and transformed you into a latex beast very similar to it. Although fully turned into a beast, you still can't look away. At this time, you haven't even awakened from the daydream of the fluorescence. What is shining in your eyes? Is it a trick of the feline latex beast, or is it the desire you've always held in your heart? Alright. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think I even look at some of these things in here. Drink of water. Water is smooth, filtered and clean. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm to die of shame. <laughs> oh my god. Where is? Come on, desk lamp. It's a solar powered desk lamp, but I, do I still need a lamp when there is sun? Box of pens. I wonder if the human has seen the markings I drew in the territory of the latex beast. Fruit paper baskets stuffed with dried oranges. <laughs> there are, these are the pearl snacks I am proud of. You want to try some? Yes. You're welcome. Eat. Nom 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 nom. These oranges are completely devoid of moisture, although they have a strange taste. They are rich in sugar and very sweet. Doesn't taste bad. Yummy. I knew you would like it. Okay. Yummy. Pearl looks very confused in this painting. Ooh. These look like, uh, well, that one not, but this definitely looks like a pinup <laughs> of some sort. That's probably somebody's persona. Probably. That's also probably somebody's persona. Pearl and his leopard neighbor. Pearl lives on the left and leopard lives on the right. On the map is a non-existent room that you haven't been to. There sure is. The vent opened up, but nothing happened. I don't know, I think something did happen, actually. It's a sassy goop boy again. Yeah, do, you want, do we want to see... Oh, that's actually different. Okay. Can't see. Mash. Ah. Uh... Okay. I did not mash fast enough, apparently. This goose <laughs> slick it out of my mouth. Interesting. Okay. Preemptive mashing. Okay. Hell yeah. Kick his ass. The latex beast leopard sets it with ill intentions on your body, looking as if it wanted something from you. It takes a lot of effort to push it off. The leopard reluctantly crawls back into the ventilation duct. The leopard escaped. Let's go and see what Pearl is doing. Okay. He's reading. Oh, uh, oh. Do you want to touch Pearl? Yes. 
Human, what are you up to? You got so close. Oh, that's a so cute. Touch elsewhere. What did you say before this? Uh, I couldn't. It said, go see what Peru is doing. Hmm. Hmm. Am I allowed to do more than one, or is this a thing where I can only do one? You can probably only do one. Hmm. Well, if I touch his head, he might think I'm trying to, like, pull his mask or something, which would kill him. And I don't want to make him worry about that. But if I touch his body, he might be afraid of assimilating me by accident. And I don't know what touch elsewhere means. Maybe the tail? Touch elsewhere. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh... Sure. Okay, so I can I can do multiple. Touch his ear. God, I love this. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh, well, that's better. Oh. <laughs> That. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> okay. I Re fucking love that. Remember, everybody. Consent. <laughs> yeah. Hello, human. I was just taking a break reading the book. I don't know why you did that, but I felt quite comfortable. Thank you. By the way, human, have you found the map? I know that map is difficult to read, but even I myself have forgotten the location of the secret road. So, a human used his parts to interpret that map. If you're willing to stop and give this lonely wolf me some company, you could do that too. I had no idea there was a pet Perot option. Wait, the leopard attacked you? It, it actually took advantage of me leaving and almost took you away. I should have got back then. I should have stayed with you. I'm sorry, human. I let you down again. It's because I wasn't thinking. I really thought it wasn't safe there. Or it was safe there. But you were still able to stay fine, which is great. Eh? It was nothing. But that obviously happened due to my negligence. Always by for be forgiven by human. I really am useless. No, just keep your spirits up. You have to do better, Puro. I, I will try to do better, human. Oh. Now was a comic fin start. I just want to make sure there wasn't anything else. Uh, again, I had no idea that there was a uh, that, oh there was a, that there was a pet pro uh, thing in this. That's uh, that's definitely new. Okay, I remember correctly. Yeah. Is a wall here a fake wall made of cloth? After careful investigation, there's a secret passage. Okay, before I go in that passage, though, I will save again. Human, you have found the secret path so soon? I knew you could make sense of the map, that map of mine. I'm really worthy of being human. So excellent. Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> it followed the secret path. If following the secret path, one can get all the way to the generator room. I haven't been there for a long time. If you reach the generator room, there's one step that's one step closer to the exit. Ahead is the ventilation duct section without any lighting. You also know how poorly dark latex PC in the dark. I can't move in such a place. Sorry I can't accompany you all along the way. It seems like I am always elsewhere, but this time I really don't want to go to such a dark place. It would be great if human could crawl into ventilation ducts like me. Be careful in the way, human. All the ventilation ducts are narrow. There are just as many latex pieces in there as in here. 
I will go to the generator room through an other ventilation ducts. Let's meet there later. Even though I can't see anything, if you call for help, I will definitely rush out. But don't- so don't worry. I will follow you closely on the way. S and see you later. Oh my god, dude. There he goes. Oh, I kinda love that. It's boss. <laughs> And the last thing you see were his paws. Do, do I look funny? Yes. Yes. In a cute way. Pro got into the vent and crawled away. Wow. That Pro won't weren't lying. He sure do vent. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Who woo me? Yes, Dr. K got him. Whoa, whoa. That's not Dr. K, that's somebody else, I think. Yeah. Is that supposed to be like an axolotl? No, it's like some other aquatic one. Um, okay. These are definitely someone's personas. Spoiler camera. There's a pink pair of pants on the floor. Uh, no. No? You might want to... Oh, wait, never mind. We just saved. I'll save again because then... There's a save right there. Bird, you can't... There, that is not a save. Today. It's probably forcing you to use as one. Okay, I'll change... But this is probably going to transform me. You put on these pink pants. It's a very tight fit. You don't know why, but you just want to wear these pants, even though it could be dangerous. Seems like nothing happened. I think these pants are very comfortable. Oh, do I just get pink pants now? Interesting. Okay. The front page of the newspaper stated that there was an unexplained disappearance cases all over the world. A common feature of missing persons is that they don't communicate with others frequently and come and go alone. There's also a report about the accelerated melting of glaciers. Next to it is a car advertisement. Next to the car advertisement, there's a public surface message. Flu season! Take precautions! I escaped in this ventilation duct and hid the entrance. There's a lot of water leakage, but no people, and especially no latex beasts. I'm safe in here for now. I don't know if I will survive here for multiple days in here. Uh, survive for multiple days in here. Maybe the riot outside and those latex beasts will soon stop. Shelter will spend some... will send someone to quiet... Qu quell the riot. Well, that didn't work out for them, unfortunately. Empty can. Empty canister. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. I did not realize that it was that close that I couldn't be doing it. Oh! Okay, I guess that's what the pink pants do. Hmm. So, is that only if I transform, or if I go to the next room, will it transform me? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh. Um. Is that because of the pink pants, or is that because of something else? Red panda boy. Huh? <laughs> I think he just I think he just grabbed you and made a baby. Okay, so that's okay, so that's a thing on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, so if I don't have the pink pants, then uh I don't think that uh, I wanna see if something happens with the pink pants eventually without intervention. Yeah. Right. Yeah, see the ball didn't show up this time. So that ball is definitely the pants. Human. Look down here. Hi. <laughs> me, Pearl. I found something I need to tell you. The latex beasts that live in the dark air without any lighting are a little different. They are experts at deceiving, disguising, and playing pranks. Things they do are not good at all. You absolutely need to be careful. I really can't see anything in, in there. I can't give you any help. Please absolutely pay attention to safety and take care of yourself. I, I will stop nagging. I will go. Oh, by the way, human, those new pants are so cute. But where did you even get th these pants? Is it safe? I feel it. I always feel as if I have smelled that somewhere before. Okay, no more nagging. This time I will really go. Um, what would I have done to avoid that? Ran down the middle, I guess? Hmm. Strange. And then it's gonna kick out the pants. 
Yeah. <laughs> Grumpy. <laughs> uh. I see. Oh, hello there. Okay. Purple. Bye. Okay. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Still very strange though. <laughs> okay, well, I guess let's do that real quick, uh, but without the pants, just to see what it looks like. Only just results of one. Yeah. I guess. Okay. Still got a new like inventory though. That's cute. Can you, can you bypass him on the left or right? Or... Yeah, I could probably go down. I'll just, uh, I wanted to see what it looked like. I mean, like, can you bypass that one to the other boxes or no? Um, I don't know. Kitty kitty. Kitty cat. Well, alrighty then. Uh, and then, or not? Okay, I guess the pants didn't do anything that time. Well, unless, let's see what the well, I guess let's see what the syringe does without the pants. Uh, those at home watching us though, stay safe. Do not use running needles. Indeed, same floors. That is, in fact, different without the pants. Hell yeah. Hot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the shorts react strangely. Hell yeah! All right. Well, now we know how that. Well, we know how that storyline ends. We sure do. Yeah. Now we can just move on. Okay. Uh, oh, lag. Strange cone. I kind of want to look at the spiral, but there's a puddle, so I can't. Can't see what's written. Oh, sorry. Wouldn't be too hard to jump over, but there's really no room for you to jump with this narrow ventilation duct. We should push a box to block this one. Step swag. The original game didn't like like this. I wonder what the deal is. Maybe there's just more going on right okay. here. Okay. Big spider web made of goo. Very sticky. I wonder if there's actually like spiders in this uh, version. That would be cool. Push it. Push it real good. I'm trying. You were saying? A spider. It took my box. That's upsetting. Upsetty spaghetti. Yeah, there he is, chuckling in the corner. Okay, well, what do I do about that? What? What do I do about that? How do I get a new box? Do I just have to reset the room, I guess? In the darkness, a little creature stealthily launches a surprise attack on you. In dead silence, it approaches you, then abruptly rushes towards your waist. Well, You have been hit against the wall by the impact. 
and there's a strange blob thing in your waist. That's the little creature that surprised attacked you a moment ago. You have seen all kinds of latex beasts imaginable, and you already knew that sooner or later you would end up in this situation because of Momo's negligence. The goo wraps itself tightly around your waist, and after wriggling for a bit, it begins to spread out rapidly, extending to other areas of your body. You tear at it without plan, but all this goo just completely slips between your fingers. So gooey. Once again, sticking to you most firmly, as if there is a magnetism between you. Ooh. The goo very quickly spread all over. You try to shake it off, wipe it off, rub it off, but all of it to no avail. You are fully exhausted and give up resistance. Finally, even the very last bit of your skin has been transformed into a latex beast's skin. You have become an earthly colored, or maybe khaki colored, latex beast cat. Heck yeah, cat. You open your eyes again and look back upon what, what exactly just happened. A latex beast cat turned into a stream of goo and jumped down on you, covering you, simulating you into a latex beast. This kind of thing, if it was written in a novel, would be fantastical, but it has, it has exactly happened. You think about it, maybe a cat isn't so bad. Of course cat's not so bad. What are you talking about? Cats are the best. Although that means that we have to do that again. Yes, I'm not gonna let that box distract me. Shut up. No, that's not even a save. It's a fake save. Here it comes. Is it a fake save? No. Oh. She's already completely ruined. Oh! Okay, cool. We'll end the episode here. <laughs> See you guys next time. Yay!